Althea here from MetMG.com and today I'm sharing with you my recipe for Guyanese style beef pinwheels. So let's get started. In a liquid measuring cup or bowl, combine warm milk, brown sugar, melted shortening, and yeast. Mix well, then rest in a warm place. While the yeast is blooming, add your all-purpose flour and a pinch of salt to a mixing bowl. Mix that really well, then form a well in the center of the ingredients and add the bloomed yeast and one egg. Using a whisk, mix the egg and the yeast mixture and some of the flour to form a thick batter. Then continue to incorporate the remaining flour using your hands until you are left with a soft dough. You can easily do this in a stand mixer with a dough hook as well. Then turn your dough onto a floured surface and knead to form a smooth ball. This should take about 5 minutes. Then rest your dough in a grease bowl until it doubles in size. While the dough is proofing, prepare your filling by sauteing some diced onions until they are soft and translucent. Then add your ground beef followed by some grated garlic, dried Guyanese thyme, spicy brown mustard, ketchup, and coconut aminos. You can replace coconut aminos in this recipe for one tablespoon each of brown sugar and casrip. Continue to saute until the ground beef is fully cooked. Give it a little taste and add salt if needed. Then remove from the heat and allow to cool completely. When your dough has finished proofing, punch down, then knead into a smooth ball. Then turn onto a floured surface and roll into a flat rectangle that is about half an inch thick. Then spread your cooled beef filling in an even layer over the dough, leaving about a quarter of uncovered dough along the edges. Next, top with an even layer of shredded extra sharp cheddar, then brush the edges of the dough with water, roll into a log and pinch the ends to seal. Then cut your log into one inch thick pieces. Place each piece on a greased baking sheet or you can use a cinnamon roll pan like this one that allows for even cooking. Finally, top each pinwheel with a swirl of ketchup and some more shredded cheese. Then bake at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about 30 minutes. Allow to cool, then enjoy all that cheesy, beefy goodness.